I'm here to do your reading. If you are new here, my name is Jen. I help people find their passion and their purpose using techniques such as astrology, tarot, and intuitive coaching. So if you're interested in working with me, check the link in the description box below. Also, I'm so excited to announce that I am hosting a tarot course now. It's a full 30 day opening in April 1st. It's more than just tarot. It's how to tap into your inner magic, channel those divine downloads and use that energy to not only transmute and create your life, but also magnetize more abundance, love, and success. If you are looking to build a tarot business, this course is going to be perfect for you because I'm going to be, essentially it's, it's my mastermind. It's kind of all my inner things. And when you get access to this, you're going to get lifetime access to anything that I add in the future in future re-releases of this course. So, um, would love to have you and I am so excited to invite you all into that space with me. Um, so definitely check that link in the description box below and let's get into your reading. The song I got on shuffle for you was space man. So what is next in love for Aquarius? I feel like somebody is coming into your life who is out of this world. Um, and I do feel like they're going to, when they come in, turn your world upside down a little bit, um, just because they're just going to be so different. Are they an alien? I don't know. They might have like alien vibes. They might be a star seed, but they're definitely going to be out of this world. So let's see. Um, let's get some Oracle cards here. We have say no. Okay. Say no. Become a clear channel, okay. Um, needing to clear the channels, embrace your power. This is exactly what my course is about, you guys. <laughs> uh, becoming a clear channel and embracing your power. So, becoming a clear channel, embracing your power, you're really needing to step into that kind of uh, divine energy that you do have within inside of you. And clearing our channels means just letting that energy course through, you know, just being, being open, being receptive to that energy, because apparently you are receiving some kind of downloads here. And um, they could be kind of alien-esque, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if you believe in that stuff, but there's some kind of otherworldly downloads that you are receiving at this time. So if you have been, this is confirmation. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the seven of swords, I mean, seven of cups. So actually, I think that in your dreams, you're getting a lot of messages right now. And you could be receiving a lot of messages about this person coming in, like perhaps you're meeting this person on the 5D. So um, if we're looking at this spread, we have the emperor in reverse. So the Emperor in reverse, this can talk about, this is kind of where I'm getting this vibe of structures collapsing. Like something is, something, something's being turned upside down for you in terms of some kind of message you're getting or some kind of person that is kind of making their way into your life. Uh, I think that you are getting the messages before this person comes in, like you're receiving divine downloads about this person first. Um, so let's get a clarifier for this emperor. We have the five of pentacles. So right now I do feel like there is, you're, you're, you might be a little bit out of your comfort zone because there is this kind of lack of structure, lack of order going on in your life right now. Um, that kind of feeling out in the cold, like, and this could be you kind of starting some kind of new business that might be racked in like that, that space of, you know, that's still a little bit volatile, like crypto space. I'm just thinking like innovative space, especially with Aquarians, you know, there's something here that um, you could be taking a chance on your, your really like your ego is you're kind of having an ego loss in terms of this because your ego is 
wanting to say like, ooh, we don't know this, that we're not comfortable here, but you're kind of doing it anyways. So here we have this moon card in reverse, the 10 of wands and the three of cups. So there could be some kind of celebration happening here. There's something that's kind of um, being revealed at this point. There's something that, you know, trusting your, so, like your subconscious, there's this need to trust your intuition, but I do feel like there's something that's being revealed here. What is this moon card doing? This could be Piscean energy. Look, you could have, you could be revealing somebody, um, somebody who's been kind of keeping an eye on you or watching you from a distance could be revealed. So it could even be that, um, your dreams are going to start becoming more clear, clear about who this person is, or this person that you've been kind of feeling their energy is finally going to be presented here. Um, the three of cups, what's the three of cups doing here? Mm, we have the ace of cups and the and the eight of wands so there's definitely there's definitely some kind of hesitation here but i don't think it's on your part there's like some kind of celebration there's obviously new love on the table with the ace of cups um new beginnings but also this this talks about that indecisiveness there's some kind of indecisiveness there's some kind of burden here um like carrying a lot biting off a lot more than you can chew a lot of this might be that the messages that you're getting with that clear become a clear channel it might be asking you to start making space for this because this is going to be a big connection so you might be getting these divine downloads and wondering why do I feel this person's energy, but yet I haven't met this person? It's because spirit wants you to clear your channels. Um, they want you to clear and make space for this connection to come in. So here we have the two of swords. We have the world card and we have the two of pentacles. So it seems like you're both in kind of this balancing energy where you're kind of looking inwards you're both a little like this for me you've been a little bit blind here to something there's something you've been blind to and i think it might be your own gifts your own ability um that that spirit's kind of wanting you to wake up to uh because you do have some kind of new beginning happening here and this person's in the process of like some kind of decision making here as well so why is this two of swords here there's something that you've been because with that moon card in reverse and this, there's something that you've been a little bit blind to. So we have the nine of pentacles, we have the five of cups, and we have the star card here to clarify that. So you're a lot more stable than you think. I think that you feel unstable right now, but actually you're standing on really solid ground and you're very abundant. You're in a very abundant energy. But what's confusing you here is this feeling of loss or feeling on, of focusing on something that you have lost. Um, because maybe it's like you've gone through a transition where you, you know, dumped a couple of friends. But there's some kind of hope. That hope that's being presented to you, Spirit's kind of saying, follow that. Follow that hope because we're leading you. We're guiding you. And it's almost like wanting you to give and release because of the fact that they are they're sending you in things and i think you know at your core you know this you know this but it's still just hard to go through that release process um but at your core you know this so they're kind of saying like don't be afraid to like pour out to allow your structures to change because we're getting you're getting ready to build a new one all right, so two of pentacles and the fool card. Yeah, this is like a lot of this is new beginnings, leaps of faith. Now, whether this is all you or this is the person coming towards you, they could be going through the same thing, getting ready to start something new, this person, because they're in the process of reestablishing their foundation as well. So here we have the seven of swords. We have the king of cups and the devil card. 
So the seven of swords in this situation is telling me that you are, you are in some way deceiving yourself. You are in some way telling yourself, making yourself believe one thing that's not how it really is, which is interesting. This is why you need to kind of listen to your higher guidance. Um, seven of swords. Yeah. Three of wands, the page of pentacles and the four of swords. So whatever you're deceiving yourself, you're telling yourself that this isn't going to come in. Like something that you want is not going to show up. Something that you've been working for, you're kind of in this belief that it's not going to show up. But what you're needing to do right now is like meditate and contemplate on this, recharging your energy and be kind of open to receiving it. Be kind of open to being in the belief that it is coming. It actually is coming and not focusing so much on everything that's changing, but focus on, you know, what you're creating space for. Um, because there is, there is this energy coming in that's going to be kind of, you know, a big deal. So let's see why this devil card's here. Could be a Capricorn, Six of Cups. Um, could be past life connection. Um, obviously the Six of Cups, this could be healing some kind of childhood wounding. This is some kind of renewal here. Or this is some kind of like karmic tie that needs to be released, that needs to be let go. Because the devil and the Six of Cups here, what are you making space for? Um, you know, this could be another, this could be the connection. Maybe it's a Capricorn, um, that you're connecting with, that you're having some kind of renewal energy with because the devil in this deck, I don't really see it as like awful and terrible. If anything, I see it as you finally clearing and having a renewal after some kind of karmic situation and you're making space and preparing for the new. And that's the emphasis. Like you need to prepare for the new so even if something from your past is represented, like even if it's a toxic pattern, it's like saying no. Once you say no, once you immediately clear that space, once you listen to your divine wisdom on that, and it's like, I'm not available for this anymore, you're going to make a shift and you're going to end a cycle, break a pattern. And what's going to come in after that is... Um, you know, somebody who's going to be on another level. So, so it is kind of that out of this world energy because it's technically out of your world, out of the world that you're familiar with um, or that you've created for yourself. You're going to be creating yourself a new world that's more advanced. You're, you're ascending. Uh, so that's what I'm seeing here. I'm going to pull some Moonology cards and then in the extended, I will look deeper into what this situation is. We'll pull some archetype cards to see what energies are coming forward. We'll pull some heart to heart messages, some more tarot as well as the sexual tarot. So let's get some, oh, you're very close to achieving your goal. There you have it. Very close. And, and we see it here. Be bold and make the first move. And we have expect powerful change. So again, I think you're going through a big transformation right now. So instead of focusing on all the things that are falling by the wayside, focus on, you know, the potential of what is on its way, like what is coming in place of all that stuff you're getting rid of. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Aquarius. If you're interested in that extended, I will see you there. And if you're interested in my tarot course, definitely be sure to check that out below. See you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh,